It's your boy Cavalco. So we're back at the yard again. I got here probably about 20 minutes too late. Um, sitting over here at the 6.0. Um, luck. Well, unfortunately, it didn't have the 4L80E. It um, has the 4L60E. The four-wheel drive. Uh, the same dude who I always see uh, pulling motors for a uh, pick and pull. He's actually here pulling it for another dude. Um, Another cool dude I, I met. Um, he does LS swaps also. But yeah, I missed the five three. I missed the six zero. You know I didn't really care about Gen four. Um, I was probably more interested in the head and then more interested into the uh, transmission. But uh, Don uh, down there in the ground, he's right there taking out the six zero for the uh, customer. He charges the fee, the pull transmissions, engines, whatever you want at any junkyard. Um, Steve Davis might remember him. <laughs> uh, when me and Steve Davis did a video at another junkyard, um, we found like three or four 5.3s. And I told Steve, man, this is the easy one, let's go pick it. He's like, nah, let me go check out this Cobalt. I decided to walk back just to check on it. And uh, Don already had it on the hoist in Milwaukee, just, just getting it out. <laughs> but uh, I got dude number now. He gonna look out for me on uh, a few engines. Uh, definitely the uh, 480 transmission. So I'm just here, just watching and seeing his procedure. Um, he we basically have the identical ways of pulling the motor. Uh, he's chopping off the front. He's unbolting the uh, cross member, and I think he's gonna cut the frame. But it's your boy Loco, man. You can see my bag right there. I planned on pulling it. Um, I waited 10 o'clock. I was up at like 8 o'clock, 7.30. I could have came and get and got it. But like I said, I really don't need another motor. And I definitely, I'm not familiar with Gen 4 uh, 5.3s. Or sorry, Gen 4 anything, 5.3 or 6.0, which is, this is a 6 with 317 heads. Um, same thing I got on my other uh, 6.0 for my Express I pulled. Anyway, um, just give a little update. We didn't get the six. Um, not a big deal. We'll find more. He actually, this is actually a blessing in disguise because um, normally every 6.0 that drop in the yard, it's gone like immediately. And he kind of gave me a heads up a game of uh, what's going on. So pretty much, um, long story short, this group of guys used to pay the employees to stash motors and then they just come back and buy it in one lump sum, you know, five, five grand, seven grand, and take about 20 to 30 motors at one time. Or they'll pay them to put out a day early or on the weekend when they're not supposed to go out. But that's the reason why it was hard for me to find them. But a lot of those guys got kicked out. So that's the only reason why this one lasted. Uh, four days now out in the yard before someone pil uh, pulled it but anyway let's get it I know that's why <laughs> at the Harbor Freight I just Milwaukee or um Diablo that's it
Okay, yeah, it, it makes sense what you did now. Yeah, see the weight, you got, it's got more tension out here and more weight, so I gotta get more. So I don't want me in there and get hung up, and I'm like, God dang it. I didn't yeah, because those those torsion bars normally um mm -hmm. land on the, mm -hmm. the wheel. That makes yeah, that sense. That would have kept me spring loaded probably yeah. six inches in there. Yep, that's smart. Make a video. <laughs> yeah, I ain't mad at you, man. <laughs> I ain't mad at you, man. Hell yeah. They more of y'all brothers like you doing that stuff, man. Yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> you see the drop in that extra six inches may, may play a role. Like, God darn it. 30, 45 minutes yeah. of the time, man. Yeah, because yeah, normally when I do them, that bar be stuck on that wheel. That makes sense. Chop. Yeah, so now you can just pull the whole thing out because you got the uh, cross member off. You got the trans yeah, undone too? Yeah. Yeah, uh, left side catching. Okay. Right, to go. You got a transfer case in there too, huh? Yeah. You show up. You hear? You hear? Yeah. You hear? <laughs> you hear that chain going over there? Uh-huh. Uh, oh, that chain over there? <laughs> yeah, you show up when the motor came out. I was supposed to see the bad one out here. He's doing a dive rim. You know a dive rim like you. You got that cross member. It's yeah. just right down in there, mama. Yeah. Fuck you on Yo, what the fuck? Hey, hey, Joe. You sure you don't want the uh, intake? Oh, you can have it. No, no, I don't want it. I, I don't know if you want to get it. But it makes 175 it's, or everything. It's, but yeah, you want to get cheese if you can. Yeah, it's 40% off. Yeah, I, 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 like, I'm just uh, getting the long, uh, long, long block, block, you know. Yeah. yeah. I got plenty of intakes. Yeah. See what it does. 317. That's the same one I got off mine. Yeah, 317. Got the full 60 Eve, full drive. Yeah, you did good, man. Good time. Uh, Any noon yet? Uh, 12 minutes to noon. <laughs> Damn. 1148. Yeah, that's, that's pretty decent, man. You get the whole thing out? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Because you, you did a lot of extra, too, so. Along the way, yeah, get the, yeah, the cross member, everything, yeah. <laughs> that messed you up. What the hell are you doing with all that? You doing all that? <laughs> I was like, you under there a long time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did good, man. Yeah, if, if it don't say uh, 6 0, you got some I problems. Him, I, I want him to see this. Like, yeah, you fucking went around and pulled two motors. Right, you didn't pull the whole, <laughs> whole transmission and engine. He's, he's trying to take the plot. <laughs> I 
I should take this water pump. I might need it. <laughs> yeah, it's brand new. Uh, the last one I took was brand new too. Oh yeah. Yeah. I was looking at the starter. Starter looked rough though. Yeah, it do look. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna need that. Remember to like, comment, definitely subscribe, share if you want. Peace.